Good morning, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to Vlogoween number four. That, oh my gosh, we are getting so far with Vlogoweens. Like, I can't believe that we're already on number four. I guess I don't know what day this is going up. I would assume it's going up on the same day as usual, like a Friday, but I don't, I guess, know how it's gonna end up. So today, is Friday, it is Friday the 20th, and this is the day that we are going up to, I mean, it's, I was gonna say up north, it's not really up north, but it's north of us. It's Stillwater, the city I've been talking about last week. There's a pumpkin patch, there's an apple orchard, all kinds of fun, like, antique shops, there's, like, just little fun candy stores, kitschy little places, and we go every year in the fall, and we get all of our pumpkins, and we get apple cider donut. I think there's a brewery up there maybe that we go to. It's also just freaking stunning. Stillwater is actually on a river and you can look over the river with all the trees changing. It is so beautiful. So today is actually expected to be 65 degrees. It is going to be like perfection. I am so excited. This is like, this is gonna be my peak fall. And also the colors outside are like peak right now. So this is going to be stunning. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to be so filled with fall spirit. <laughs> like it's going to be like living in over the garden wall. I love going to the antique shops. I always look for the Halloween stuff because it seems like some of the like vendors make sure to put some out for the season. And this pumpkin patch guys, I don't think I've ever brought you guys to it in a video any past years, but it is spectacular. All the pumpkins are such good price. They have like thousands and thousands of them. And I think I saw a post, they have like 40 or 50 different kinds of pumpkins. I was like, I didn't even know that that existed. So I'm, I'm, if you can't tell, I'm over the moon excited. But right now I'm heading to pick up a Starbucks drink, of course. I had enough stars to get a free one, so this is like a bougie one with a bunch of like shots of espresso in it. It's kind of, I always like save my stars for like celebratory days or like really fun days or days where I am dead, dead tired and need the espresso shots. So this is more of a celebratory time. If by chance you guys are watching this video on the day it came out and it came out like say Sunday or something, that is because the weekend that this was supposed to go up is my wedding. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll have like the most time to edit normally. The Friday that this would usually go up is my bachelor party, AKA my friends and I are just going to a restaurant. We're just gonna play video games. That's my kind of like party. The next day is my wedding, Saturday. So there's a chance you're seeing this on Sunday. And if you are, woo, happy Sunday. And I hope my wedding went well. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get my drink. Skelly is like literally dying for a coffee. And so am I. So if I don't go get this now, I may look like Skelly sometime soon. The leaves and the trees on our drive up were just so pretty. I had to show you guys. That's like Seavers-esque almost. Like the, that's like a, oh, it's a rock. It's a rock. Our first stop was the apple orchard. It was, of course, super packed today. It is peak season, so I totally get it. Spooky, scary, spooky, scary. <laughs> Perfect. This apple orchard has cider stands, it has hay rides, it has apple picking, there's a beer tent, they even have a baked area in the apple barn.
Apparently, they even make their own cotton candy, which I had never seen when we've come in the past, but Ryan and I got ourselves an apple cider, a hard cider, of course, and Debbie's not as into them, so she didn't get her own. I was so into this tree that we were sitting by. It just looks so eerie and creepy with these twisting twigs. I know once the leaves fall off, it must look so spooky. So then we moved on to the pumpkin patch. This pumpkin patch is called Axe Dolls. We go every year. It is so amazing. It's like a pumpkin wonderland. I kid you not, there are so many different kinds, so many pumpkins in general. The trees are all beautiful. I just love this place. I really wanted to take home this maple tree, but they were really expensive here, and also we probably wouldn't have room for it, so I didn't stick to that idea for long. Ryan and I each grabbed a pumpkin wagon and we decided to head out to the pumpkin patch and pick our own pumpkins. The prices, whether you pick them yourselves or get them from the pre-picked area is exactly the same. So of course, I would love to have the experience picking myself. They have this beaten down old beetle car that was painted orange and says ax dolls on it. It was painted like a jack-o'-lantern. I love it. Pumpkins galore is what's in store. Pick up the pace, we're in a race. So we finally got to the pumpkin patch and there's this entryway through a cornfield. Once we got out there, my goal is always to look for the great pumpkin, as I call it. In other words, the biggest one I can find because the prices here are great. So I like to just get an enormous one that blows people's minds. We had our first three that we were for sure getting, so we put them into one of our wagons and then continued looking for our next wagon full. Then we filled our second wagon with some huge ones and some very unique ones. We went back up front because of course I did want to look over at these ones. The ones they pre-pick can be really pretty too and there are just so many. It's nearly as fun as going out to the pumpkin patch and like I said, there are some treasures up in the front as well, so I had to look. I wanted a diverse pick as well because we actually will be using these pumpkins for our wedding decor, part of it at least, so I want some pretty ones and some unique ones. I spy Jack Skellington in this tractor. After filling our trunk with tons of pumpkins, we spent over $100, but it was still a steal of a deal. We headed to the actual downtown Stillwater where all of the fun little shops and cute little houses are. We stopped at this cute little diner style restaurant. I got a chicken patty with some fries and chips. In the front, they had this little ghost hanging from the classic TV. In out the front window, there were these really cool scarecrow looking guys in a bench that were looking right at me. Next, we went to the first antique store, and this is actually one we've never been to because it's always closed when we come here. This one was not nearly as good as the one coming up after it, though there was a small section of spooky stuff, so I will show you that here in a second.
Well, now we have arrived at the amazing antique store. It's actually an antique mall. There are so many vendors in here and it is amazing inside. There are vintage Halloween pieces everywhere around this season. I think even if you come off season, there are some here and there. I just love this place. There's this blow mold that I may have went home with along with so many other pieces all over the place. Some of them are very, very expensive. So a lot of the things you'll see in this are really amazing pieces that I would love to take home, but the prices are just too high, I can't. This case especially is a wonderful example of things I really want and would die for, but they are just, just too expensive. Like everything in this was so expensive, but so amazing. After antique shopping, we went to a brewery called Siren Brewing and we were right by the river with the beautiful view of the river itself and all of the trees lining it. And our last stop in Stillwater was the candy shop called Candyland. They had decked out the outside with spooky candies and on the inside they had all kinds of spooky candy as well. Who remembers Wax Lips? Later in the night, after we got home, we first stopped for Boo Buckets at McDonald's and we were moving on to our part of the night where my entire family goes looking at Halloween lights and houses that have amazing Halloween displays. I didn't put a good clip before this explaining that that's what we were doing, but that's what we're doing. It's almost like when people go on light tours for Christmas, we do it for Halloween. I got the Frankenstein bucket, so I now have two of three of the buckets. I am making my way there.
I'm trying not to comment much so you guys can just enjoy the sounds and the houses, but this house actually was aligned with a radio station and they were playing Ghostbusters while this whole display was lighting up. It was fantastic. Good morning, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to Saturday, Saturday the 21st, I think it is right now. So I am actually driving right now to pick up my mom, and we are going to a lunch to celebrate my grandma's 80th birthday with a couple relatives, which is good because some of the relatives, well, I mean, they're all coming to the wedding, but some of them are part of it so it'll be really good to also like go and talk about that ryan has some work he really really has to get done right now or else he would love to come so unfortunately he is not last night we went and looked at lights we did our little like halloween light tour so that's what those clips were at the end hopefully i somehow like in a voiceover or something explain that because i didn't really put a good clip before that saying that we were going to do it we were actually in stillwater quite a bit longer than i expected to be so we didn't have much time between stillwater and going to the lights but that was so everything yesterday was so much fun and now i have the Frankenstein boot bucket i have two of four here is why we reorganized the living room so we actually got this in the mail today well these in the mail today it's a lot of very large packages but we actually ordered a new couch to replace this one because this one's a really tiny and b not the best there's a spot from ryan's filling pop <laughs> there's a button coming out and it's just not holding up the best plus we want something bigger and more comfortable so we need we need a big boy couch and that's what we got. So we're gonna put that together right now, actually. We just finished setting up and then I edited the main channel Saturday video and look at how freaking cute and amazing this couch is. It is so much bigger than the last one. This one's like 90 inches wide. So we don't have room for that chair that we used to have over here, but that's okay. We're actually, when, we, when it's the December month and we're celebrating those holidays, we're gonna put the tree over here so perfect room just gonna take away one of those end stands but this couch is amazing it's so comfortable it's so deep i love it there's the old one <laughs> drying off after a little rub down and then going on facebook marketplace <laughs> it's so comfortable yeah and it's so much bigger hello ghouls and ghosties so it is now much later it's like eight seven eight o'clock right now we have just been kind of like working around the house cleaning up all day but we just got done filming a couple clips for what is going to be our halloween special on the main channel so if you don't watch our main channel it is about like clothing and brands and fashion and such if that doesn't interest you this video might still interest you so on halloween if you want to check it out we're going to have a main channel video that's very very fun very campy very classic halloween we used to do these like every year and last year we just didn't have time so i'm really excited to bring that back but now we're done with the couple clips we're doing tonight and we're gonna watch halloween town three halloween town high and we were maybe gonna carve pumpkins tonight but i think that's gonna be tomorrow i just need to definitely get it done this weekend because we have one week left to halloween i think we're actually going to bedazzle and decorate some masks for our wedding and I don't think I've talked to you guys about what those are for yet. I'm not gonna dive into it right now. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow as well, but we have some masks to decorate, so we might do that now. Good morning, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to Sunday 
the 22nd. Today I am up, I was almost gonna say early, but it's the exact opposite. So I slept in for the first time in probably over a year. I woke up at 10, which for me is like absolutely freaking unheard of. It's actually like 10, 20 now. I'm going to get Starbucks. Honestly, I'm just gonna take the sleep that I can get because I doubt I'll be getting a ton this next week and I have not been getting enough this past week. So you know what? Sunday is the day for sleeping in, I guess. Today on the agenda, we probably have finishing up filming things for our Halloween video on the main channel that we're going to have. Also, today we're gonna carve pumpkins. We're probably just gonna do otherwise, just some kind of like housework. It's good to have a day where we can kind of catch up and get some stuff done. We have some stuff to put away in storage because a lot of Ryan's friends coming from out of town are going to want to see our house for the first time or second time, so they will be taking like little mini tours of our house all day, so we do have to get the house pretty clean for next weekend, like Friday, we need it clean by. And then of course his family is also coming and all that stuff, so yeah, we just need it cleaned. I'm gonna grab my coffee and I will absolutely check back in when we are carving pumpkins, but of course I will check back in as well if there's anything else fun going on. took the dogs on a walk later and I spotted a new 12 foot skeleton in the city that I haven't seen and actually then at the end of our walk I spotted another 12 foot skeleton that I hadn't seen. Later in the week I even spotted another. In our suburb I have now seen I think six including mine. We are about to make mummy dogs for dinner. And if you don't know what a mummy dog is you will see that in one second. But usually a mummy dog would use hot dogs we are opting for Italian style smoked chicken sausages. And you need Pillsbury croissant rolls for them. If you don't know what a mummy dog is, you will right now. Like this. These are what a mummy dog is. You normally take a hot dog and you wrap it with a Pillsbury croissant roll and you can put little like ketchup eyes on them, but they have to bake first. So these are pre-baking. These are the mummy dogs. We've made these every year since I was like a kid. They're so good. And I'm so excited to try the Italian chicken sausage version. Good morning, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to Monday the 23rd of October. Today is finally gonna be the day tonight that we actually carve our pumpkins. I don't know if I've left it in every day, but every day so far for the past like three days, I'm like, today we're gonna carve pumpkins and we haven't. So today we actually are, we have four pumpkins to carve tonight. I'm very excited and we really want to watch Scream tonight. So hopefully I can find that on a streaming service. For some reason last night, I was trying to find it and we couldn't find it anywhere, but I know that you can watch Scream probably in a couple places. So I just gotta like relook into that. So instead we actually watched Monster House last night. I don't remember if I got any clip of it, but I love Monster House. It is the weirdest, but like most amazing movie ever. I was just like, some of the animation of Monster House, like the people is not the best. Like it's almost like watching Sims, but then like there are scenes and certain editing sequences and also like the house itself in Monster House where I'm like, this animation is freaking amazing and fantastic. The one scene that really sticks out to me is when the kid is up in his room, I think like sleeping and the house is first getting like mad at him. And so the moon shines behind the house and the like shadow of the Monster House goes on his bedroom floor and like stretches out and becomes like this evil like hand. It's like really cool. Anyways, yeah, we watched Monster House, a classic. I don't know if everybody puts Monster House on their like must watch for the season list, but I definitely do <laughs> justice for Monster House. Otherwise, yesterday we continued to film our Halloween special for the main channel. It is turning out so good. I am so excited. I am so 
freaking excited just to have a Halloween special back on the main channel. It worked out perfectly this year with Halloween being on a day we normally upload because I was like, okay, well, we have to do a video anyways, so why not make it a Halloween special? And sure enough, we are, and it is turning out so good. I'm going to be doing so much YouTube editing today. Like, that's going to be all my day, probably. I need to get all of these videos done for the wedding weekend. I already have the Tuesday for this week video edited. We have filmed the Thursday video for this week and I need to get that edited. The Saturday video for this week on the main channel needs to be edited. I do have the footage for it. And then the Halloween video is half edited and half filmed, which is next Tuesday. So I have to have a week of videos done ahead of time. And then of course there's this video you guys are watching. This is a stressful week but getting down to the wire and I'm getting very stressed. I literally was sitting in the car before filming singing to myself about how stressed I was. I was like singing about I want to cry because I'm so stressed. So I'm actually going to the gym right now and actually then I have a Facebook Marketplace pickup of a, again, I don't want to mention future holidays in our vlogoweens. It pains me so much, but I'm actually picking us up a really, really bougie Christmas tree. We are using $150, I think, from our wedding money that we've gotten so far to get a Balsam Hill Christmas tree. Balsam Hill is like the ritzy, bougiest like Christmas tree brand, and we found one in the marketplace for $150. It's usually like $1,000, so that's nice. Our first Christmas tree in our first house will be quite nice. Let's not say that word again in this Vlogoween episode. I just had to tell you guys what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I will check back in with you guys as soon as something spooky happens. So I'm picking up the tree that I was telling you guys about in this really cute little like new development. And I just wanna show you how pretty this area is. Oh, this would be like my dream house. Something like this. With the like wraparound porch and the peak, the witch's tower. Oh, that would be so fun to decorate for Halloween. Oh, I see the purple dragon and the target hot air balloon pumpkin. Oh, like look how cute that is. That would be another really cute one. Look at those trees around that house. Oh my gosh, it's like living in a forest, but you're just in the suburbs. Sorry for the beeping, I need to put my seatbelt on. There's some decor, cute. We got boo bucket number three today on the way home from getting the tree. I had to get a boo bucket because I'm still too short, but now I'm only one short. I just need the mummy. Everyone, it is now 6 p.m. and you guys have missed nothing. Just editing all day and Ryan got home and we went on a walk with the dogs and that's about it. Now Ryan actually had an art center dinner that he went to, so I'm home alone again and I'm gonna be editing again. So this is a big YouTube day for me. A lot of catch up, a lot of getting ahead for the next weekend, but I'm actually gonna watch Trick or Treat again. When I was doing it like last week or two weeks ago, I was carving a pumpkin, like a fake pumpkin while doing it and I didn't look up like almost once because it was kind of important that I did it right. And so I totally missed like everything. So I need to see it again. Ryan just got home and he has it in him to carve pumpkins. So Mike, okay, never mind, Mike. Ryan is just changing, but I rinsed off one of my dirty pumpkins and I got all of our tools out. So of course we got the handy dandy cutter and we have this new tool that I believe is for putting on a drill. <laughs> so I got a drill. I'm sorry, Mike, I don't mean to frighten you. Also, this is the painting sheet for my family, so that's why it's so gross. <laughs> and of course, I got a bowl for the seeds because you must save your pumpkin seeds because they are delicious and nutritious. Mike and Will are such huge fans of pumpkin guts, and yes, it is safe to feed your dogs a small amount of pumpkin guts, just don't feed them the seeds. They are so into it, it's kind of off-putting to be honest. They literally beg for it. All right, we have one more pumpkin to gut. That one is gutted over there. Will keeps trying to take all the snacks, AKA all the pumpkin guts, 
Mike kind of is trying to. And Ryan's just cowering. I don't do pumpkin guts. That is the one thing that I cannot do as a human being. They make me <laughs> not. They make me <laughs> not. They make me do that. They make me so nauseous. Like a child. This is why we can't have children. Yeah, Jack hollows out I the already pumpkin. have a child. <laughs> I cut it out and make it all nice and cute and artsy. I can't do this. We're each gonna do two. This one's Ryan's, that one's Ryan's. These are my two. So my two are good and clean. Got one more Ryan's left. All clean. Time to make faces. Yay! <laughs> I just threw out all of the guts. So let's take a look at our pumpkins, though we do not have candles in them, so I'll have to give you a better look tomorrow. Okay, here are the pumpkins. Ryan's first one is actually a ring, a wedding ring. Very fitting. <laughs> then we have Ryan's second one, which is very classic looking. My first one is very vampiric. And my second one has two eyes, an arrow up, an arrow down, and then his nose is an exclamation mark, and his mouth is a question mark. We'll give you a better look tomorrow, but I think they turned out really well. This actually took a lot longer than I expected, so it's bedtime. Hello, ghouls and ghosties. It is now Tuesday. My mom is actually off today because it is my brother's birthday. It's his golden birthday today. He turned 24, so that's really exciting. Um, So she took it off in case there's anything he wants to do today. But we are starting the day by... Well, I've been editing more videos all morning, shocker, but we're starting the day by bringing the dogs for nail trims, which is so thrilling, and then I have some errands to run, but I'll have to check in with you guys if we do anything fun later today. There's nothing super exciting that I can think of, and also it is totally gonna storm outside. It is not nice at all, so <laughs> that's exciting. I had to donate some stuff, so I actually quickly stopped at a thrift store later and looked for some Halloween stuff. They definitely had some, and they had it separated, which was really nice, but I didn't see anything that I really wanted myself. This was a really cute basket. This witch looked kind of kooky. There was also a vintage Y2K pumpkin bucket from McDonald's. Some cool Target lights with bats on them. And my favorite thing was probably this ghost on a pumpkin head. I really love their simple faces. These guys look like a lot of fun. Hello, ghouls and ghosties. Time for another talk or treat. The puppies are right here begging from me, so if you hear sniffing or oinking, it is my two dogs. Today's talk or treat snack is finally going to be candy corn. I have been planning to do candy corn this whole time and just haven't yet. I actually usually prefer candy corn with peanuts, like when people do like a 50-50 mix and it tastes like salted nut rolls. That's how I love it. I'm like one of the few people that likes candy corn. I always feel like with candy corn, like you love it or you hate it. And there's like not many in-between people. I am an in-between person. I can eat it plain and like, I don't dislike it. Like I'm not forcing myself to, but at the same time, I'm not like obsessed with it. Aesthetically I am, but like otherwise I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's so good, but it's good anyways. Also, <laughs> Peep my Marshall's little cute candy container. This is gonna be an all year piece. It probably won't be candy corn all year, but like M&Ms or something, that seems fun. So I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, and I was like, what should we talk about this week? We talked about the past. We talked about nostalgia. We talked about old Halloween memories and such. We talked about the present. We talked about the collections from this year at all the different stores. So why not talk about the future? So we've talked about past, present, favorites and then future okay this candy corn is gonna get stuck in my teeth i'm gonna eat this like sparingly also if you hear thunder or rain it is torrential downpour storming right now that's that it's very fitting it's very ooky spooky and kooky i have like the light of pumpkins around me and it's storming outside Ooh, i love it so what i mean by the future 
is I would like to talk about collections or pieces or themes that I want to see in future years. I'm not expecting any or all of these to ever happen. I am just putting these out here as ideas because I would also love to hear ideas or kind of like wish list dream pieces that you guys might have. So for some of these, I'm gonna say like the store or stores I would maybe, maybe think could do it or like I would like them to if someone ever did it. Oh shoot. Sorry that I just had to rush off. I probably left that in there, but my first, second, or third favorite clothing brand of all time just had their Halloween drop for the year and I kind of thought they weren't doing one this year. So I had to go spend some money. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> but that's exciting anyways. Like I said, the stores are like stores I could see doing it or stores that I would like hope would do it because I think they could handle it well. I have kind of three different categories here. I have animatronics as their own category. I have collections, so like an entire store collection. And then I just have like miscellaneous things or miscellaneous little ideas that I have. So if you're a designer for like Michael's, Target, Home Depot or something, I don't need credit if any of these are made. I just will appreciate that they get made. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the animatronics and I only have a couple of them. And first up is a animatronic category that I think I could see from Home Depot or Spirit Halloween and that is cryptids. So I know that this year Home Depot kind of did a Wendigo and actually Party City did one as well. But I would love to see more cryptids. There are so many to work with and they're kind of like a horror character that isn't talked about much. There's not a ton of movies about them. There's there's not a lot of like media about them, like Mothman and all that type of stuff. I just think that that'd be really cool. It'd be really unique and I think it'd be a hit. I've noticed that the Home Depot unique pieces always do so good, sell out, and people think about them and want them in the future. Like Mad Eating Plant, people love him. He's like my favorite animatronic I own. I protect him. I don't even put him up till Halloween because I don't want him to be damaged, but he's unique and people look back and they have so much regret for not buying him. So I think like more cryptids, if not an entire collection could do so well. Spirit, I could see doing it as like an entire collection. Usually they kind of have a theme to everything. So if they did the whole whole store, that would be really, really cool. And I think there's a lot to work with there and it's just so unique. So that would be awesome. Also a 12 foot ghost. Now I know there's a 12 foot ghost this year from Home Depot. <sighs> I don't know, I, uh, 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 mm. it's not my favorite. I don't really like it that much. It's completely plastic, so you put it together like piece by piece, like a Lego. You can see the lines where each piece goes together. To me, it looks not that well designed. And I also picture a ghost as more like flowy and kind of spooky. So like almost if they took the Lowe's mummy but made it into a ghost. Cause the mummy's got it down where like his like pieces blow in the wind, which is so cool. But I would love if they would do a ghost. I guess I would just like to see a better 12 foot ghost than the 2023 Home Depot 12 foot ghost. Now this one's niche nowadays and it's not gonna happen. It's too late. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But a 12 foot Slender Man or just a Slender Man animatronic period. Now I know that like modern kids and stuff probably honestly don't even know what Slender Man is. I am such a cusp Gen Z. Like I'm the oldest Gen Z that there is. So I came from the era in high school where like the game Slender Man was amazing. I feel like Five Nights at Freddy's is almost like the new version of that, but Slender Man was like everywhere took the world by storm, it was amazing. I loved it, me and my friends would turn all the lights off and we would play it on a TV together. So much fun. I have such nostalgia for Slender Man and he was so like underutilized when he was popular. Like they made a movie five or six years later or something and it was horrible. When it could have been capitalized on so much more, I would love a Slender Man animatronic if they could somehow like get his tentacles to do the like twisty thing. And like he already has a signature noise and signature music. I feel like that's not that hard. He doesn't even have any face detail. Like that wouldn't be that hard. Maybe I should just like make a Slender Man animatronic. If I find like an animatronic on clearance, I'll just like give him a Slender Man costume or something like that. But that would be so cool. Last for animatronics is, uh, this is kind of an animatronic, but I would love to see more plays and twists on the like five, six foot skeletons 
like the bat skeleton from this year. He was a hit, sold out everywhere. Even the ultra poseable skeleton did so well, sold out everywhere. I would love to see kind of more twists on them, like maybe like a demon or devil or gargoyle skeleton. As for collections, now there are a couple of these that like have existed before and some that I'm totally coming up with in my head. I would love to see at home do an outdoor graveyard or cemetery theme. They kind of did this year. That theme that had the crow lamppost and had little gargoyles. It wasn't fully graveyard. I think it was like a graveyard skeleton people thing. Cause I believe, I always forget what that's called, but like the outline of the skeletons from the side, those like picture frames, some of the other skeleton pieces, some of the like skull ceramic pieces, some of the like resin skeleton typewriter. That was like the same collection, but I would love to see a collection of just tombstone graveyard cemetery because now we know that at home can nail it if they did the raven lamppost amazing the vulture lamppost amazing those little gargoyles i loved them i would love to see an expansion on that and more like of the heavy duty quality pieces like the raven lamppost i would love to see michaels bring back the classic halloween collection three four years ago it was perfect spot on. And I feel like it slowly got worse and worse and worse and now it's gone. I would love to see it come back. I feel like that was a good chunk of people's favorite section. And when they did it, they did do it really good. I don't know quality wise, <laughs> cause it's Michaels. The designs and stuff were very good. I've said it and I'll say it again. <laughs> I would love to see a Halloween Town collection at Spirit Halloween. I don't know what the licensing and stuff is like. I don't know if there's some weird mix up with Halloween Town licensing in general because no stores have Halloween Town pieces. And I feel like there are so many, so, 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 so many good pieces that you could make. I just watched all three with Ryan, like in a row. Well, all three good ones. And there's so many pieces. You could make a little set, like table center, of the, the city center jack-o'-lantern statue. You could make the talking head walkie-talkies that they make as like a decor piece. You could make the mom's mask, that green mask that like gets sucked to her. You could do Gwen, that's her name, Gwen. Gwen's mask that gets like suction to her and she turns into a monster. You could make that as a costume. You could make Aggie, the grandma Aggie's bag as a piece of decor. You could make Marnie's like weird kind of funky brooms. You could make their outfits because they're very unique as costumes. Like, come on, like there's so much to work with throughout the entire scenes in Halloween Town. Every single thing could be made into like a decor piece. There's so much to work with. Why don't we have it? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why well, there's no Halloween Town merch. Someday, Mark, mark my words. I don't want to jinx myself, but mark my words. Someday, even if it's for one year, somebody will do Halloween Town. I, I just feel it. It's gotta happen. Up next, Michaels. I would actually love to see like a dark, gothic collection from. Now I know some of their stuff is already kind of dark and gothic. Some of the witch stuff, some of the Edgar Allan Poe, and some of the lovey stuff is slightly gothic and dark and whatever. Based on the designs they are making, I feel like they could really, really well do a super gothic theme. Like whoever designs for them, I can see it in their designs that they could do it. How they have that bat kind of spiderweb candelabra. This year they had that kind of like church steeple candle, like metal cage. I, I can see it bits and pieces, but if they did a standalone goth, spooky, kind of overly creepy, like just step a little outside of the box, like dark, like creepy. Make a, like I got the um, Grim Reaper bus from Home Goods. They could do that really well at Michael's. More like, yeah, Grim Reaper stuff. I I'm, hope I'm putting that into words. I just, I'd love them to do a dark, solely gothic, creepy line. I don't know. Next, a folk Halloween collection. With how popular Joanna Parker is and how many people love her and how many people just like ooh and ah and love folk Halloween pieces like me, a store needs to do some good folk pieces, like modern folk. I know it's not gonna be nearly as good as old folk art Halloween, 
but I feel like that would do so great. So I feel like it touches all kinds of interests. Us classic Halloween people love that, like the vintage -y stuff. The average mom or grandma, I feel like also would like that because it just looks like kitschy and not scary. I think a folk collection from Joann's or Michael's would do really well. Target maybe could like dabble in a little bit of that, but I could more see Joann's or Michael's maybe doing that. I would love for Joann's to expand on the vintage pumpkin that I've been so obsessed with. And I would love them to do it with other creatures too, or other animals, like a black cat and like a really vintagey Joann art style would be cool. Some skulls in that same like art style would be awesome. Don't get rid of the jack-o'-lanterns, but add some pieces. Last section is just kind of like random things. So this didn't fit in collections or animatronics. Substantial, large, year round, like furniture. Big pieces that I can have out all year round. For us like genuine, like home decor goth style people, I would love if there could be more like substantial. I know it's like pricier, like when I got the bar cart from Pottery Barn last year, I know it's probably gonna be pretty expensive, but if it's like a piece, like I could pick one each year to invest into, like a solid, really cool Gothic piece, that'd be great. Even like five foot tall coffin shaped bookshelf. I could see that being somewhere, like anywhere. Honestly, that would be really cool. I already have one, but like, <laughs> it'd be cool if like a store had something like that or like, a coffin shaped mirror, like a standing mirror, like more like the Raven lamp post, a gothic like lamp or light or fixture. I just, the more, I, I know that that's, a, that's, a, that's more of a reach. That's a harder one to get places to do because it takes up more room. It's harder to make. It's more expensive to sell to people and it's more of like a niche, but that would be so awesome. And I hope Pottery Barn does that again. <laughs> Blow mold string lights. Now this is just like a random idea I've had that it would be so, so cute and so cool. If they made little, based off of the traditional blow molds, like string lights, wouldn't that be so cute? <laughs> like like that vintage pumpkin we all see all the time and like the vintage witch blow mold and the vintage ghost and the, that vintage haunted house one. There's the vintage Dracula blow mold. There's the vintage Frankenstein or even like a desktop size one, like a small one. That would be awesome. Another thing, more blow molds. More blow molds, please. Good three foot tall, classic size blow molds, plug in, one bulb in them. Classic blow molds. I think you can only get them at like Menards. They usually have like one or two a year. Michael's usually has like a ghost with a pumpkin that they've kind of like recycled a bunch of times. But I'd love if more stores did them and made them look more vintagey. I don't want them to like knock off the vintage ones because that will just kind of like, eh. It'll kind of like mess with the old ones and kind of ruin it a little bit. But Make new ones, new designs that look like old ones. And I would love if more stores would do them because uh, clearly people love blow molds and are willing to pay for them. You see the blow mold market, it is crazy, crazy. The value of some of these blow molds and they sell, it's wild. I wish more stores would see that and would like create new ones. That would be really cool. And my last thing that I would love to see more of in the future is more candy corn themed things. So I know you can get candy corn decor here and there. Couple pieces here, couple pieces there. Mainly I feel like you see it at Home Goods. Honestly, is like the only place I feel like you see it. But it's like, it's like a Christmas tree that's painted like a candy corn, or it's like a pink candy corn like garland. I want more classic color, yellow, orange, white, candy corn pieces as decor. To me, candy corn is as visually classic aesthetic Halloween as like jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, pumpkins, haunted houses. Like I feel like a candy corn is also a very iconic symbol of Halloween. And I love my Joanna Parker candy corn mats that I have in my kitchen. I keep them out all year. And I would love more pieces like that. The aesthetic of candy corn was fantastic. And I want more candy corn stuff. <laughs> okay, so kind of like last week, I feel like this was a little bit more lighthearted, a little more just kind of like chit chat, throw around some like ideas and just like gab. I would love if you guys would leave some comments. I, I've been reading through all of your talk or treat comments from 
last Tuesday. And I love them. You guys did. You did one through 10 and you answered. And I love reading you guys. I would love if you guys would tell me some future pieces that you would love to see, something that's never been done, something you'd love to see brought back. Let me know. I will see you guys in the next clip. Well, ghouls and ghosties, we went over to my mom's house to just drop off my brother's gifts. And now we are home and we finished filming some things for the Halloween special that's on the main channel. We still have more to do. It's kind of a lot of work. Um, but now we're going to make some nachos for dinner like children. So I got all of our nacho stuff out and we are going to start making nachos. Ryan's just showering. I know it doesn't sound classy or anything but it'll be delicious. Good morning, ghouls and ghosties. So it's Wednesday today, and I am thinking that I'm probably gonna skip the gym today. This is normally a day when I would go, but I just feel like there's more pressing issues this week, and I should probably just stay home and get as much done as I can. <laughs> so really, I think the big thing today is like house cleaning. Though I'm gonna go out this morning to Target and run some errands. I'm also gonna get some Starbucks at Target. I, I don't remember if pumpkin flavor stays around until like Thanksgiving or if it goes away in early November. So I'm kind of trying to get more Starbucks now than I have been basically the rest of the month. But yeah, I just feel like there's too much work to get done today to go to the gym. I'm gonna feel like gross not going to the gym, but you know what? <laughs> I just, there's so much stuff to get done. I'm not sure what exciting is gonna happen today, but if there is anything, I will show you. Tomorrow, more exciting stuff definitely will be happening. But yeah, today might not be so much fun. Target was condensing all of their Halloween together, and this is always quite a sad time at the retail stores when all of the Halloween is being sorted together. You know the season's coming to a close and the clearance signs will be put up sometime soon. So yeah. Not my favorite. Well, ghouls and ghosties, <laughs> I just went into a Home Goods. I went into the Grand Central Station Home Goods. <laughs> I haven't said that in so long. And it's brutal. It's rough. It's bad. So I didn't film anything because it's depressing. I feel like Bette Midler in Hocus Pocus 1 where she like believes that they're going to die because they don't have their book and they can't make the potion. And she's like, goodbye world, goodbye, goodbye. I feel the cold wind of death touching my neck or whatever she says. And she's like, take me to the window. I would like to see the world for the last time. That's very much how I feel about the changing seasons. Makes me sad. So <laughs> I don't really know what else I had to tell you right now besides just a small venting. I mean, it's not ranting because I mean, it's under a week until Halloween. What else is to be expected? But like, I just can't believe that we are already almost there. Like, obviously I'm so excited for the actual day, Halloween, but the season coming to an end makes me terrified and so depressed. By the way, which I'm gonna, I'm sure, cause this is really, really late in the video now, if you're still watching this. First off, thank you for making it this long in the video. But I will ask this again later, but what would you guys like to see, whether you're from the main channel or from just this channel, what would you guys like to see other times of the year on this channel? Because I, I feel like I've said this last year, but I do intend to continue posting, especially with our house. And I just feel like I have more time and Ryan having a full-time job, I definitely should have the time to keep posting on this channel, maybe every other week or something like that. But I definitely should have the time to do some here and there for sure. So I was thinking in December, we'll do a story time of our wedding. And no, did I say November? In November. Another video I know I'm doing before like the end of the year on this channel is I'm actually going to, actually this might be two videos. So I'm going to put together my spooky Christmas downstairs because that's really keeping with the theme of the channel, obviously being like spooky stuff, but I have a black Christmas tree. I have a bunch of Halloween ornaments. I have some like black pine garland. 
I have some little like kind of gothic village pieces. And so actually in our downstairs for Christmas, our theme is going to be like a gothic kind of spooky Christmas. So I'm definitely gonna make a video of that, putting together the tree, showing you guys the stuff that I found and like where I got it in case you were interested in doing something like that. And then I'm sure in December, I will also do a full like Christmas house decor walkthrough. It will not, it will not be as extravagant as Halloween. Trust me, Tr trust and believe it is not gonna be nearly as much, so the video will not be nearly as long or intricate. And I also won't do a decorate with me because again, it's just, it's not as much. I mean, like I like Christmas. I just, I have a rough patch with it from like mid-October to like, mid-November is when I'm kind of like, get away from me. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're the reason that I don't have Halloween anymore. Anyway, it's enough rambling. I'm gonna go home now and I will check back in with you guys if anything fun happens today as per usual. <sighs> okay, so this has not been a fun day in any way, shape, or form. Nothing bad has happened. It just has not been a fun day. <laughs> I kid you not, I have been cleaning all day. Every second of this entire day, I've cleaned like every freaking room of the house. I deep cleaned our bathroom. I cleaned our living room. I vacuumed the living room. I vacuumed the downstairs living room and cleaned that up. I cleaned the kitchen up. I cleaned the dining room. I transitioned my closet into fall winter, even though obviously like my t-shirts and stuff were already in there, but I need more like the heavy stuff because the weather's gonna get cold and like, a couple days. I put a ton of stuff in our storage crawl space. I did the pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna show you that in a second. I did do the pumpkin seeds. That is a task all of its own, but I did do that. I did some yard work. I even put out some things for free that we need to get rid of, like a lawnmower that doesn't work and a vacuum that doesn't work. I know some people like repair them and resell them. I did so much stuff. Uh, it's good that I skipped the gym just for the reason of I'm done, or I'm gonna be done, and tomorrow I can have not as intense of a day and get some other tasks done. I am so close to getting those donuts lined up with that pumpkin patch apple orchard situation that was over in the middle of nowhere. They're very slow to respond, but we're working our way there. <laughs> over the past like week and a half, we've been slowly talking. Tonight, I'm hoping, praying, and believing that we are going to finish the Halloween special for the main channel. That will be super nice. And I feel like after today, then we'll be super caught up. But we have a house guest coming tomorrow already. Everything starts tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like gonna be getting into like a, like a rocket that's about to launch is like tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is like, Get your astronaut outfit on and get all the switches switched and sit down and start counting down. And then launch. And launch is like the house guest we have coming over because it all begins, it's all gonna move fast. I texted my friends about the little party we're doing on Friday, so that's all lined up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't wait until the 29th. <laughs> I know I should look forward to my own wedding. I don't know how much of this made it in. This was a lot of rambling. Once again, this is also super late in the video, so I'm sure nobody's watching at this point. I'm gonna show you guys the jack-o'-lanterns and I'm gonna show you guys the pumpkin seeds tonight though, for sure. So let's do that. <laughs> Here is a look at my pumpkin seeds. I used everything seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, accent, and celery salt and they are delicious. I did the air fryer method, even though I know you can like actually put them in the oven, but I like the air fryer method and they are so good. All right, ghouls and ghosties, I waited for night so you could get the full effect. Here are the pumpkins. We have the wedding ring, which I'm actually using LED lights, which I need to put them on a timer and I can even make them flicker. We got my spooky kind of vampiric one. We have Ryan's very classic one, which I kind of am a big fan of. My little like classic Halloween heart is like, oh yeah. And then here's my weird like question mark exclamation up or down mystery man pumpkin. So I hope you like them. I think they're so cute. 
Ryan and I finished our Wednesday night by going out for a beer and some dinner, and then Thursday was all just a work day, so I actually didn't film at all. And then actually, Friday was my bachelor party and Ryan's bachelor party, so I didn't work at all that day either or film anything. And then, of course, on Saturday and on the weekend, we had our wedding, and I kid you not, it was the best night of my entire life, and Ryan's as well. So, it went really good, and I will have a story time later with Ryan about it, but it couldn't have went any better. There were so many good moments. We carried over traditions from our family's past, and we just had such a good time. So, this is the end of this Vlogoween episode, and I hope you guys really liked it. It was really fun, and stay tuned for the Halloween special on the main channel on Halloween.